Hey guys, how's it going? It's Helpful Lockpicker here, and in today's video, we're going to go over how we can decode a key on our computer. So what we're going to work with today is going to be the Schlug SC4 key. This is a 6-pin key. So the first thing you want to do is take your key and just make sure it works in a lock because you do not want to have a key that does not work because then you're going to be decoding a key that isn't going to be helpful to you. And then you're going to want to make sure that you know exactly what type of key you're working with. So I said this is the Schleg SC4. So what I'm going to do is get the chart up. And what we need to do is either go on the internet or just find a reference for all the root depth cuts for our key because this is going to be very important down the road. And then we're going to need a scanner to be able to scan our key into the computer. And then a program like Adobe Photoshop, GIMP, any of the variants, and then we'll be able to decode our key. So let's get started on this right now. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your key and add it into your flatbed scanner and get open your program you're going to use to scan your key. So I'm going to use a generic program that came with my scanner right here. So one thing you may want to consider is doing a preview so you can see what your key is going to look like just to make sure that it's going to be perfectly aligned. I highly recommend that you try to get your key as straight as possible from the start so there's going to need to be little manipulation in the future. So we're going to get a quick example of what our preview looks like and then after that we're going to go back and scan our key. So as you can see I like to have mine so that the bow is going to be on the left and the tip is going to be on the right so we're going to be able to decode one to six. The next thing I like to do is make sure my resolution is turned all the way up. I like to have it up to 1200 dpi or whatever the max resolution of your scanner is just so you can get as much detail as possible. This is not entirely necessary but it doesn't hurt. It is going to take a little bit more time to scan but let's scan this right now. Alright, so we have now successfully scanned our key into our computer in 1200 dpi. This may be a little bit of overkill, but it's going to give us some really great detail. If you use less than 1200 dpi, don't worry, you're still going to be able to be quite successful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this file as a PDF. That works best for me, but the most important thing you do is just make sure you save it in a way that's going to keep it in the measurements of what it actually is. So you want to make sure that you're not going to do a file where it's going to crop it because you do not want to have to do any modifications further. So let's save this, keep it in the real measurements, and we're going to now move it over to Adobe Photoshop and be able to start decoding it. All right, so we're now ready to get started. So what I have done is I've opened up Adobe Photoshop, and what I have done is I have gone to File, Open, and I opened up the scanned image of the key that we were able to scan into our computer. So with that up in front of us, what we're going to want to do is quickly do one thing. On Windows, you're going to want to hit Control R. On Mac, it might be Command R. And what that is going to do is bring up the ruler tool. By default, it's going to be set to pixels, but I'm going to want to change it to the unit of measure that we're going to be working with. I'm going to change it to inches, but if you're working with millimeters, that's okay too. Just take a look at the root depth chart that you have for the key that you're working with, and then you'll be able to figure out which unit of measure you need. So I'm going to be working with the Schleg chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep mine in inches, and now I'm going to take a look at our key. So if you're able to scan your key in in a way where it's going to be perfectly straight, that is going to be perfect and you're not going to need to modify anything further. But if you notice your key is going to be a little bit diagonal, you're going to want to take out the rectangle tool, highlight it, and then you're going to want to be able to reposition it so it is straight. If you need more help with that, there are plenty of tutorials out there. So what I'm going to do now is hit Control alt and just scroll forward and let's get very, very zoomed in. And this is a good example of why I wanted to do the 1200 dpi so you can have as much detail as possible. So now taking the rectangle tool with the units of measure being inches, we're going to be able to measure the root depths right here on our computer. So we're going to see that we're going to have all of the cuts going across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The root depth is going to be the distance from the bottom of the key here to the bottom of the cut. We're going to be able to measure each one of these and figure out exactly what the cuts to our key is. So in order to make this easier, I'm going to zoom in as far as I can for the cut we're working on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very bottom of the key, and then we're going to click 
and drag. And then we're going to be able to see that the very first one I'm getting 0 0.322. Taking a look at the chart for a Schlegel lock, we're going to see that 0 0.322 is going to be a very close match to a number one cut, which is 0 0.322. Zero. So we're going to write down a number one for our very first cut, and then we're going to move down the key, and then we're going to go to position two right now. So moving on to position two, we're just going to click and drag like we did on the very first one, and we're going to see that we're getting about 0 0.278. 0 0.278 is very close to 0 0.275, which is going to be a number four cut. So we can write that down, and we're just going to progress through. So I'm going to now move over just a little bit, and we're going to move on to position three. So position three, when we click and drag and go to the very top of the cut here, we're going to be getting about 0 0.319. 0 0.319 is very close to 0 0.320, and if I just drag up a little bit, you can see I got that right there. So this is going to be a number one cut, which is very much in alignment with the chart which would be 0 0.320. So now we have decoded position 1, 2, and 3. So far we have 1, 4, and 1. Now moving on to the fourth position, we're going to see what our cut is. So clicking and dragging, we're going to see that we are getting 0 0.263, and a number 5 cut is 0 0.260, so we have a number 5 cut in position 4. Now moving on to position Number five, we're going to get 0 0.230, which is a number seven cut, which matches, matches up exactly with a number seven cut on the chart at 0 0.230. Now our last and final cut, we're going to now click and drag, and we're going to be getting about 0 0.306, which on a number two cut is 0 0.305, so that is almost perfect. So now going through this, we can see that the cuts that we were able to get for our key are going to be 141572. So as you can see, this is a pretty quick exercise on being able to decode a key. But a few key things that you're going to want to keep in mind is one, you're going to need to make sure when you scan your key, it's going to be all in real measurements and not cropped. If your image is cropped, one inch is not going to be one inch and all of these measurements are not going to be perfect and you're going to need to resize it in order to do that. In order to do that, you're going to need to have a reference and that is beyond the scope of this video, but just so you know, it is very possible. Another thing you need to make sure is that your key is gonna be nice and straight. As you can see going across here, my key is straight and I took extra effort to make sure when I scanned it, it was straight to make this as easy as possible. There are many different ways you can tweak things in Photoshop. There are a lot of different instructions out there. And if you need any particular help, feel free to reach out to me, but also feel free to reach out and just check any of the resources available online. But I just want to say that this is a really cool exercise because this is a great way where you could be able to share a key with someone. And this is a great way where you can just learn to decode a key on the computer. This is a really cool thing and it has a lot of very interesting implications. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you this week. This has been a really cool tutorial on how you can scan a key into your computer and decode it. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave those right in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing. I just want to say thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you'll have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.